everyone um how are we doing so you are welcome back to my youtube channel <music> how are we today i know i haven't um been i haven't like posted a video in like two weeks and that's because i've been extremely busy but um on my way to church on sunday um something just dropped in my spirit you know and i felt it would be good you know to talk about it and to share how and i think it was because um so i got a message that i was going to be leading prayers you know at um, church and um the scripture i used was um john 14 um where god where jesus was telling his disciples that um he's given us a gift a gift of peace you know um john 14 verse 27 you know and when i read the scripture and i saw it you know i now um i now just remembered um I remembered some things you know and i thought oh it won't be a bad idea to actually share you know how i how i deal with anxiety or how i've been able to deal with anxiety in the past you know so basically this video you know is um me sharing you know how i deal with anxiety you know and i'm going to be using a particular experience i had and what i did you know um so in 20 19 was it 2019 i think it was 2019 yeah it was in 2019 was it 2020 no 2020 was COVID. so it was 2019 um i remember there was a particular period in that year where everything nothing was working fine for me like nothing when i say nothing i mean nothing i was struggling at work i think i just done my appraisal then or i think it was before after my appraisal you know at work my appraisal was bad um i i was broke you know um i wasn't in a relationship um yeah things were just not working and i remember during that period i'll be going to work and i'll be having anxiety like i could literally feel my heart beating like and it would be hurting you know I'll, I'll i'll be so anxious um every time i have to go to the office you know at work my heart would be beating fast like and it was painful i, I could literally the anxiety i was feeling at that time was tangible you know i could touch it you know so i was very anxious I was just i think there was anxiety there was worry there was fear there was just everything you know and nothing seemed to have been going on well for me that period you know and i'll go to work i'll just want to get my day over with if that english is correct i'll just want to be over you know i just want my day to end you know go home sleep come back to work and you know and sometimes yes i get by the day sometimes i was able to like get through the day you know with my colleagues just and no one no one knew that i was having these panic attacks like this no one knew i was having this anxiety and i remember i remember one night i was just tired around 11 30 or past 11 no 11 30 i started trying to reach out to my friends because i really just wanted to share how i was feeling at that moment you know and i just really i just felt i needed to talk about it you know so i called one of my friends um she wasn't reachable i called uh, i got pi um but some missy she wasn't answering her phone it was late anyways i don't blame them I, I assumed they had slept at the time i sent a message to another one of my friends that hey are you up i we need to talk she did not respond you know so i literally could not reach anyone nobody was available <laughs> you know and then the only person that was available at the time and who is always with us who never leaves no forsake because he's always there he's right there and you also want like he doesn't mind you know listening hearing what you have to say is god so i remember that night i couldn't reach any of my friends so as at midnight midnight that night i remember that's how i just sat i sat on my bed and i started I started oh the first side as me complaining that god why 
why is this happening to me why am i feeling this way you know i was just ranting complaining um i was i started to cry i was like god i'm tired i'm tired i feel this anxiety work is not going on well i don't know what i want to do in my life relationship is not working god no guy see me you know i'm broke i don't have money i was just crying then i was crying i cried i cried i cried i had to bring tissue like i had tissue around no um, I took a dirty cloth from my laundry to like because I was I was I broke down in tears. I remember I was just crying, crying, asking God why why are things not working out. Like I was I broke down in tears, and I'm sure God was just looking at me. Oh yeah, continue, continue, continue. You know it was I was it was it was it was such a loving father. You know at the time because I was just crying. I'm sure he was just looking at me. Then after crying, I just um started saying lord lord jesus you said you said i should cast my cares upon you i should cast my cares upon you lord i cast my cares upon you i cast my cares upon you take my cares take my worries take this anxiety and in exchange lord i receive your peace in exchange, Lord, I receive your peace. And that was what I was saying. I said, Lord, take my struggles. Take my worries. Take my cares. Take my cares. You said your burden is light. Lord, I exchange it. Take, I don't want it. You know, he literally said, just we should cast our cares on him. You know, because he cares for us. He, he said it. We should cast it. We should cast our cares on him. Let me open that scripture. And let's see how other versions, you know, say, um... Just give me a second. First Peter five seven to nine. Let's open it. First Peter. We'll come back to the John, but let's read this first Peter. So verse seven says in the NLT version, it says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. The easy version says, if you have any kind of trouble in your mind, give it to God. God has promised to take care of you. The message version says, God's strong hand is upon you. He'll promote you at the right time. Live carefree before God. He's most careful with you. The New King James Version says, casting all your care upon him for he cares for you tpt says pour out all your worries and stress upon him pour it out <laughs> and leave it leave them there for he always tenderly cares for you and that's exactly what i i i did that night so yes i first started by just ranting and complaining i won't say complaining but i was really just sharing how i was feeling at the time you know so i won't say i was complaining but then i started to cast it on i said god take it take it the burden is too heavy the weight is too heavy. i don't want it lord i don't want to feel anxious anymore i don't want it i don't want to worry anymore so i started to cast all my cares all my worries that night i poured it i gave it back to him you know, and I started to say, Lord, in exchange, I receive your peace. In exchange, I receive your peace. In exchange, I receive your peace. Your peace that surpasses all understanding. Your peace. Your peace. I started to receive his peace in exchange for all my cares, for all my worries. You know, and after that, after the exchange, I now went into a phase of thanksgiving. I was like, oh, daddy, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because I'm alive. It's only a person that is alive that has hope. <laughs> I remember, I can never forget that night, guys. I can never. I started to thank you. I said, God, I thank you. I thank you for life. I thank you for health. I thank you for family. I thank you for provision. Yes, I am broke, but I have food to eat. I have food to wear. I thank you for friends. I thank you for this. I started to thank him. I started to list things that he has done for me, things that I am thankful for, things that I can see, even the things that I couldn't see, even the things that I was struggling with, you know, my work and everything. I started to thank him inside a place of thanksgiving, you know, and this entire thing, I think it lasted for over an hour. When I was done, I now went to bed. And I went to bed. I remember going to work the next morning, you know, going through my day and everything. It wasn't until the next night, it wasn't until the night, you know, after that, my 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 encounter with god you know <laughs> it wasn't until the next night you know as i was about to go to bed i just realized i was like wait so 
Moji, you didn't have any anxiety. Like, I was like, oh my God. I was like, thank you, Lord. On my bed, you know, because I was just reflecting on my day. And I was like, oh, my heart, there was no, I wasn't, pal is it, is it palpitating? Pal pal my heart was not beating fast, you know, I wasn't feeling, I wasn't, I wasn't anxious, Laura, I wasn't anxious, you know, and I just gave him all the praise and I gave him all the glory. His word came alive, you know, God literally took that burden, you know, that I had put upon myself. He took that anxiety and he, he gave me his peace, you know, and I just began to thank him, you know, the next night when I realized that throughout the day, there was no, my, my heart was not choking me because that was how it felt, you know, like I said, it was tangible. My heart would be beating fast, you know, and I'll be feeling the anxiety, you know, God took it all, you know, and he gave me his peace and I had peace. You know, and that's how I dealt, you know, with the anxiety I was feeling at the time. You know, as it, I, I have, after that, I have things come up, I have, I have things happened where, you know, I get anxious and every, oh yes, it has, but I've learned. I've learned not to dwell on it. I've learned not to complain. I talk about it still, you know, like I remember there was one day, I saw something on, on TV, social media, on youtube actually i was watching it on my tv and it was a good thing you know but it started to make me feel sad you know i started to feel sad about it and i remember talking about it to my friends you know and just sharing with them because that's another way i deal with anxious thoughts you know or worry i talk about it then i take it back to god he says we should cast our cares on him i love the tpt versions he says pour pour it give it to him Pour out all your worries, all your stress. Pour it out, pour it on him. He can handle it. He wants, you see, because he cares for you, he wants to take up that burden. You know, that anxiety, that thing that is making you anxious, that is making you worried, that is stressing you out. Just hand it over to God. Let him deal with it. He wants to take care of you. And that is what he does for me all the time. All the time. So I've learned to cast my cares upon him, you know, and I've learned to stay in a place of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a powerful tool. Praise and thanksgiving is a powerful tool that we can use to shut the devil up every time he tries, you know, to get us into that place of anxiety and worry and stress and even depression. You know, I'm going up. Ah, I'm not led yet, but I feel so strongly that I need to talk about an incident something that happened to me something that happened to me something bad a very bad thing that happened to me in 2018 february 14 valentine's day but i don't think now is not the time but when the time comes i'm gonna talk about it and how i was able to pass through that phase i was able to deal you know with the situation at the time but he says you should cast your cares upon him. So that's how I deal, you know, with anxiety. That's how I deal with stress and worry. You know, because it's just human nature, you know, to worry about things, to just stress over things, you know, it's human nature. You know, but God has told us what to do, you know, right here in his word. And I just want to declare a scripture, you know, over us, which is John 14, um, verses 27. He says that I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Hmm. The easy version says, I will go away, but I will give you a gift of peace. It is mine to give and yours to keep. He's giving you his peace and it is yours to keep. So always remember that. You have peace even in the midst of the storms, in the midst of the trials, the tribulations, the struggles, the worries, the cares, you know. He's leaving you with his peace. Peace, a perfect gift from our Lord Jesus Christ. You have his peace. He's giving you peace of heart and peace of mind. You know, such an amazing gift. That's why you can sleep comfortably even though everything is falling apart around you. And we are thankful for this precious gift of peace. So, my dears, if you are feeling anxious, if you are having panic attacks like I was, you know, at a time at that time, you know, you have so much worries, my dear. Cast it. 
cast it, pour it all, all out on him and just enter, talk to him about it, talk to your friends about it and enter a state of thanksgiving and praise and you see what it will do to you. Like me, you'll just find out, okay, okay, okay. You know, just stay in a place of thanksgiving joy, you know, and put the devil to shame and you see what the Lord can do. Thank you so much for joining, you know, and Merry Christmas, cause I'm, I, yeah, Merry Christmas, you know, and I just pray that this season comes with joy, 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 peace that surpasses all understanding and love. You'll encounter the love of God this season and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. And that thing that you are trusting God for, it will surely come to pass. It will surely happen for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, you know, and comment on my video. God bless you guys and thank you. This is most likely my last video. I'm not sure. No, no, this is not my last video. I'm going to post a video on the 31st by the special grace of God. Amen. Thank you guys and God bless you. Mwah.